with Angelo Bavaro, election 2021. Angelo, where are you and what are you following? Good morning, guys. So we are in West Haven this morning following closely the mayor's race here. It is dark. It is still early, but that is not stopping the voters. They are coming into this polling location. And as they come into the polling location, take a look right here behind me because we've got a bunch of local candidates out here. They are out here making that final pitch to voters as they head into this building. But as we talked about the top race here in West Haven that we're following closely this morning, that is that race for mayor. And this has been a sometimes heated race between these two candidates. Democrat incumbent Mayor Nancy Rossi is facing a challenge from Republican Barry Lee Cohen. And this election, it is playing out as former Democratic state representative and administrative assistant to the city council, Michael DeMassa, was charged in a federal investigation. Prosecutors say he stole more than $600,000 in federal COVID relief money in his role with the city council. Mayor Rossi says she knew nothing about what was happening until she came across several concerning large expenditures during a review and immediately took action. Take a listen. Because the mayor doesn't sit in the finance department. Let's be clear about that. I'm a CPA. When I came here, I sit on the third floor in the mayor's office and do mayor's work, whether it be interviews, whether it be uh, economic development. So you just heard from the mayor right there. And joining us live this morning, we've got her challenger, Barry Lee Cohen. Mr. Cohen, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We just played a soundbite from the mayor talking about why she can't be held responsible for this criminal act. What's your response to that? Oh, that's simply not true. When the mayor took office in 2017, she specifically stated that she was going to oversee any expenditure over $500. For her not to realize that there's this outside company that we're paying checks for $84,000, $60,000, $10,000 checks, all you had to do was a simple Google search, and you would have known that that company was owned by two City Hall employees. So she didn't find it. She was probably part of the cause of why this happened. We know that's an issue a lot of people are following this morning as they cast their ballots. What are some of the other issues that you're focusing on as you talk to voters this morning? Well, to tell you the truth, as well before this scandal, the voters in West Haven have been very, very concerned about the economic neglect of this town, um, attracting developers, true developers, for the longest time because we're hard to do business with. We're, we are a city of missed opportunities. We hear this over and over and over again. And not only that, because of not being able to attract true economic development, our quality of life has gone down from potholes to cracked sidewalks to the way we keep our beaches. And finally, People are just tired of the lack of transparency that the communication of City Hall is sometimes is radio silence. It's non-existent. Barry Lee Cohen, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'll let you get back to talking with those voters. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. We're hoping to catch up with the mayor at some point this morning as well. Again, polls are open until 8 o'clock tonight. But for now, reporting live here in West Haven, I'm Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61 News.